Crazy. Next question is from Ariana Grande BR. Um, <clears throat> you performed Pink Champagne at the Honeymoon Tour, even though it is not a song on yours truly. Do you have a special connection with the song and do you regret not, uh, not adding it to the track list? I think I loved the song. I think that was like one of my favorites from the era of me being caught in between Kat and Ari. That and, um, boyfriend material, um, but no, I don't regret not adding it. This question is from Itzy. Mother, what made you change the cover from this to the released one? Well, it's horrible. It's not horrible. It's, um, it is, you were right. You guys got very angry when you saw it. I was very sad about that and I changed it. And you were right, but you're not always right. Your bullying has been consistent for the past 10 years. So there's that. You hated it. You were like, this is fucking ugly, mom, change it. So I did. Sometimes that works. Sometimes it leaves me with wounds that make me question everything I've done since. Just kidding. Bye. Okay, next question. Why did you decide to name the album yours truly? I love you. I love you too, firstly. Um, secondly, I couldn't decide. I really liked Honeymoon Avenue as the title, and then I really liked Daydreamin', um, but I couldn't decide, so I just wanted it to be a sort of like a love letter, an introduction to the world, and how you sign a letter, like a love letter type thing was yours truly. Um, just felt like, here I am. I'm glad that we went with that. Manuela in Two Cloud said, how long did it take to record? Um, it took me three years to record Yours Truly. I was simultaneously shooting Victorious and, um, you know, I would go at night or I would go on the weekends and, um, yeah. It was really fun also to take that much time with it. It felt nice. What a lovely three years it was. Okay, next one is from Steven. Are there any songs from yours truly that you wished you made a single? Honeymoon Avenue and You Will Never Know, for sure. I think You Will Never Know would have been such a fun single. Yeah. Tattooed Heart is still to this day one of the most beloved songs amongst us fans. How long did it take you to write it, produce it, and record it? Um, so I wrote Tattooed Heart in my room alone when I was when I was, I think, 17 or something. And then I took it to Mad Squire and 303 who produced it for me and they brought it to life and made it so beautiful. And then it ended, up, it ended up on the album. And that's like the only song on that album that I like wrote by myself. <laughs> uh, so I do love it so much and it feels like a really important one. So I am very proud of it. Ari, you, uh, Ari and me, babe. Wow. Miguel. I should have just said Miguel. Says, are we going to have products from Ari and Beauty inspired by this album? We need it. Make it happen, girl. Would I not? I know you're very annoyed with me and my makeup and my little makeup, but I, it's coming. Here, there's more. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. There's more and it's really cute and it's very yours truly inspired and pink and girly and sweet. Yeah, it's very pretty. Hourly AGB, um, is there something you learned or did while recording this album that you still use to this day or used or used throughout your other works? I.e. songwriting, vocal arranging, editing, etc. Um, I think, um, I don't know, I mean it was just such a long time ago, I mean, I loved vocal producing but i don't think i was like asking to do it enough like i don't think i was like oh i'm doing that i can do that i want to do that you know at the time so i think i learned to kind of say with my chest um i'm a producer i want to do yeah i can do that part let me do that part or you know i vocal arranged everything but i wasn't behind the computer as much for this album and um, I think that was the takeaway that I kind of clung to was like, oh no, I want to be 
doing my own vocal production from here on out. Yeah. Thank you guys for your questions and for um, an amazing, 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 special, beautiful, insane 10 years. Love you so much. Words do not suffice. And um, I cannot wait for the next 10, the next 20, the next whatever. Love you. I don't know what I would do without you and I'm so appreciative.